War is filled with risks and death, and those who excel in warfare are considered great generals. Sun Tzu highly valued the position and role of generals in the security and well-being of a nation. According to him, high-end military personnel must possess five fundamental qualities known as the Five Virtues. Sun Tzu's discussion on the Five Virtues may seem simple, but it contains profound truths and wisdom. So, how should we understand the true meaning of the Five Virtues, and how did famous military commanders and political leaders throughout history achieve success through trials and tribulations? What are the Five Virtues? Sun Tzu's exact words are as follows, the commander stands for the virtues of wisdom, sincerity, benevolence, courage, and strictness. This statement succinctly summarizes the five fundamental qualities that high-end military personnel should possess. The first and foremost virtue, wisdom, refers to one's understanding of practical matters and problem-solving abilities. High-end individuals need to be more intelligent and have the ability to think critically. However, there is a challenge here. High-end military personnel don't fight alone, they lead thousands of troops into battle. They must transform the army into a cohesive entity, turning individual wisdom into collective wisdom and individual strengths into collective advantages. This is a key aspect of measuring the intelligence of high-end military personnel, their ability to recognize and appoint capable individuals. Emperor Taizong of the Tang Dynasty in ancient China is a classic example. He had the ability to recognize and appoint capable individuals. There is an idiom in China called Fang Mao Du Duan, which means utilizing people's strengths and complementing each other. This idiom originated from Emperor Taizong's wise use of talent. Let me explain the origin of this idiom. Fang Mao Du Duan involves two individuals, Fang Xianling and Du Ru Hui. These two individuals were Emperor Taizong's most trusted advisors and participated in the Xian Wu Gate incident, helping Emperor Taizong eliminate the Crown Prince and the Prince of Qi, enabling him to ascend the throne. After Emperor Taizong ascended the throne, he appointed them both as prime ministers. These two individuals had different characteristics, Fang Xianling was astute and excellent at planning, while Du Ru Hui excelled at decision-making but lacked meticulous consideration. Emperor Taizong recognized this and turned their individual talents into a collective force. When formulating national policies, he would seek Fang Xianling's advice and listen attentively to his meticulous thoughts. After hearing all the details, he would enter the decision-making stage and then summon Du Ru Hui, conveying Fang Xianling's thoughts and seeking Du Ru Hui's opinions. Du Ru Hui would quickly analyze and provide affirmative or negative suggestions, pointing out the strengths and weaknesses. Emperor Taizong would then synthesize their opinions, analyze the situation, and make decisive rulings. Thanks to their wisdom and abilities, complementing each other's shortcomings, Emperor Taizong achieved the golden age of the early Tang dynasty during his reign. The idiom Fang Mao Du Duan embodies the concept of utilizing people's strengths and complementing one another. It indicates that in a team, whether it is a national army or a business organization, the key lies not only in the quantity of talent but also in the ability to properly match individuals, transforming individual intellectual advantages into collective intelligence. In real life, we all know that individuals with all-around abilities are rare, while individuals with specific talents are more common. However, how to combine these individuals to form a well-rounded team depends on the wisdom of decision-makers. Therefore, wisdom is crucial for high-end individuals, especially for decision-makers. It is why wisdom is the primary virtue among the five virtues, according to Sun Tzu. There is a famous Chinese idiom, Tao Li Bu Yen, Xia Zi Cheng Shi, which means that peach and plum trees do not speak, but their blossoms and fruits attract people, leading them to admire the beauty and harvest the fruits. Over time, paths naturally form beneath the trees. 
This metaphor emphasizes the importance of being genuine and sincere, which can have a tremendous influence. Surprisingly, this metaphor has a deep connection to a renowned general during the Western Han Dynasty named Li Guang. So, what is the connection, and how does it relate to Sun Tzu's Five Virtues? The second virtue of the Five Virtues is Sincerity. Here's a little story for you. If you are familiar with Records of the Grand Historian by Sima Qian, you might find it quite interesting. Li Guang had a grandson named Li Ling, who was a famous figure. Li Ling once fought against 80,000 Xiongnu soldiers with his 5,000 cavalry and emerged victorious. The renowned historian Sima Qian spoke favorably of Li Ling and faced imprisonment and castration as a result. Castration was considered a great humiliation as it eliminated male characteristics, so most people who received this punishment would choose to commit suicide. However, Sima Qian endured the humiliation to continue writing records of the Grand Historian. Returning to the main topic, General Li Guang shared weal and woe with his soldiers and didn't take advantage of them. During battles, if there was a shortage of food and water in the army, he would prioritize the soldiers' needs. If the soldiers refused to eat or drink, he would abstain as well. This genuine concern won the heartfelt devotion of his soldiers, and his prestige within the army naturally grew. So, wherever Li Guang pointed, his soldiers charged forward with determination. Sima Qian, upon witnessing these qualities, expressed his sentiment and remarked, a leader who upholds integrity can inspire others to follow without the need for explicit commands. On the other hand, a leader lacking integrity will struggle to gain obedience, even if they issue orders. Li Guang personifies this truth. Although he appeared plain and unskilled in rhetoric, on the day of his funeral, people from all walks of life, whether they knew him or not, came to pay their respects. I believe these scenes fully illustrate the respect and admiration Li Guang earned through his unwavering loyalty. Subsequently, Sima Qian concluded his account with the proverb, Tao Li Bu Yen, Xia Zi Cheng Shi. From the case of General Li Guang, we can observe the significance of sincerity within the five virtues. For leaders at all levels, it is essential to hold oneself to high standards, leading by example, in order to truly gain the support and devotion of subordinates. Only then will they willingly follow your commands. If a leader consistently maintains an arrogant demeanor, expecting grandiose displays of respect wherever they go, it will undermine their ability to gauge the true loyalty and obedience of their subordinates. Consequently, in critical moments, their commands may go unheeded. After all, people are not fools, and each person has their own internal scale to judge a leader's character. This is why I believe Sun Tzu places sincerity as the second virtue among the five virtues. Due to time constraints, I will save the remaining three parts for the next video. If you found this video helpful, please click the subscribe and like buttons, and don't forget to turn on the notification bell to receive updates on our latest videos. If you're interested in the Art of War series, you can also watch my previous videos. Thank you, everyone.